July 2005, Hurricane Dennis, a compact hurricane, a broad area of clouds and rain. That was the third system in the Gulf of Mexico and the one that had the biggest impact early in that season. You do remember that was nine months after Hurricane Ivan and it made landfall in the same area. Florida Panhandle between Navarre Beach, Gulf Breeze, that's Pensacola Beach, which also felt the impact of the storm. And the impact was storm surge, rain, and of course, wind. It started in the Caribbean right after Cindy moved into Louisiana early July, moving through places like Cuba and Haiti. Several dozen people lost their lives. Few lives were lost on the Gulf Coast directly, but thousands of people lost electricity as that hurricane moved inland, following a track taking it to the Ohio Valley where it delivered rain, not extreme wind, but more rain there. And there you see that track, a fairly common uh, curved line, which was very well predicted by the National Hurricane Center. It gave people time to prepare, but if you were on the Thunder Horse semi-submersible rig, you had a little time to get off, but you can't move something like that when it's out in the Gulf of Mexico. There's the rain, the radar showing a broad area of rain on what was a Sunday afternoon. And when you look really closely, you can see the eye, a very small storm, a very small eye, and the highest winds, the hurricane force winds, which were category three strength, they were mostly confined to right around the center of the storm in terms of the strongest wind. Now here we look at Navarre Beach and that is overwash. It's when the storm surge pushes the sand from land back out into the water. If you look really closely, you see roads covered by sand and you could also see some of the damage that it did. And places like Sugar Bowl Lane in Pensacola Beach, obviously this house demolished. It could have been a microburst, it could have been a tornado, it could have just been the high winds of a category three. It doesn't matter when you lose your roof and your home, you're not in a good place. Remember again, this was nine months after Hurricane Ivan. So as the Coast Guard did their surveys across the coastline, they found damage in some of the exact same places. And take a look at this one, Baywatch condos and boardwalk condos. Now these were in Gulf Breeze. And what you're finding, there's a blue roof. That was from Hurricane Ivan, a blue tarp. But there's the brand new damage Hurricane Dennis's impact was felt mostly by folks in the Florida Panhandle where they had four to eight feet of storm surge, but more than 100 miles east of that storm surge was up to 12 feet. Rainfall not extreme, although western Alabama and western Georgia saw eight to 12 inches of rain. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.